Okay, so this is a Mazda 3 2010 Reg UK spec and today we'll be changing the fuel filter on this uh, vehicle. Uh, fuel filter is located underneath the engine shield uh, so we'll have to remove that but before we do that uh, I want to disconnect the terminals on the battery. So to disconnect the terminals we'll remove the battery cover. I've already undone the clips. Uh, we'll remove the negative first. And then the positive. back on just so that nothing makes contact with the terminals. So to remove the engine cover there are two bolts, one on this side, one next to the oil cap. I've already removed them. On this side of the engine cover there is a small sort of sucker connection so you just have to pull and it will come off and then you can remove the engine cover. So. So the fuel filter is here, it's located between the battery and the engine and is underneath this metal mount. Uh, this uh, plastic shiny thing it connects to the uh, engine cover. Uh, so to remove this, to get to the fuel filter, uh, there's a 10mm bolt up here which I've already loosened. There's an 8mm bolt at the back, uh, just there if you can see it. Just there, and also there's an 8mm bolt just here. Uh, but to get access, access is from the, the inside. Okay, so I'll just undo those bolts and then I'll remove the cover. Okay, so once you've removed the three bolts, we have a wire going through the center which connects to the fuel filter so that needs to be removed. We've also got this wire at the top that also or the hose at the top that needs to be removed. So the hose at the top I shall try and show you how to remove it. You have a flathead small screwdriver and if I can get a close up bit difficult to show but what you need to do is on this one side you need to push the screwdriver underneath the flap to lift off okay and there's another one on this side so there are two and so you need to get the two off and you can pull this open. Okay, once that's open, you can remove that hose. So now that we've got this hose moved, it's just free of this. Now we just need to disconnect the electrical connection onto that fuel filter. So this is a Okay, this is a close-up of the electrical connection on the fuel filter so to remove this wire this tab here we need to lift up with a flathead screwdriver and it pushes off so once that's off you can move this whole connection to one side and then gain access to the fuel filter but to get that out we need to remove a few more bolts so I've removed that uh, metal piece that was uh, in the way. So to remove the fuel filter there are three bolts. Uh, these three bolts, one, 
two and three hold a piece of metal in place that stops the fuel filter from coming out. Uh, so we just need to remove those. So these three bolts, they're eight mil. Okay, so we just need to remove this plate. That's in the way. Now this is the, the plate that was holding in the fuel filter. At the bottom here you see hose clips which I couldn't show you before. So when you put that back in, just make sure you clip the hoses back in. Okay, before I remove the fuel hoses, which are these two, what I've done is I've put masking tape on them and I want to make sure that I put them back in the right order. On the top here, you see this cap. There is an arrow marked. This is the fuel going into the filter. So I've put my masking tape with the arrow marked in that direction. And on the other one, I've just put left, so I know it's on the, the left hand side. So now we just need to remove these fuel uh, hoses. Okay, so to remove these quick connection uh, fuel hoses, what we need to do is get a pair of needle nose pliers and push these white strips down and then push the fuel hose off. like so okay and you just need to do that with the other one as well okay now we've got both of these off any fuel that you've got coming out mop it up with a bit of tissue but because the system isn't pressurized there's no need to worry about fuel spurting out so now what we need to do so to get this fuel filter out of this metal casing in which it's uh, placed in I'm going to be using three uh, screwdrivers uh, one with a uh, small uh, flat head, one which is slightly wider, and one which is slightly wider still. So with a small one, I'm going to just uh, ease it out. I'm just going to push the flat head in between the black rim of the fuel filter and the silver uh, casing, and I'm going to slide it in between the two. And once I've got in between the two, I'm just going to twist it. So I'm going to lift it out. I'm going to do that all the way around. Once I've got it lifted, I can switch to the other screwdriver. Just lift it, and once I've got it further out, I can switch it to the bigger screwdriver. So once I've got it out, the fuel filter will come out quite nicely. So you can see on here, this is a, the fuel filter. Just on there, there's a small lip. Just there, if you can see it. That lip sits underneath this casing and you'll have to use the screwdrivers to lift it out so one thing you just need to be aware of that this fuel filter will have diesel in it uh, just underneath here there's a bleed or drain even uh, so you can drain that uh, diesel off 
uh, into a suitable container. So now we're just going to replace this filter with a new one. Okay, so this is the replacement fuel filter from Marley. Uh, you can buy this from OP Oils, which is where I get the engine oils from for my service. Uh, this one cost uh, 35 pounds from them. Um, they have it on uh, offer at the time. You can also get it from uh, Euro Car Parts or Halfords, uh, but the cost was uh, 75 pounds for the same brand. Uh, you can see they're pretty much they're exactly the same. Uh, with the intake and the outlet, uh, you got this the electrical connections on either side, and even this plastic connection, which doesn't do anything there's just a connection uh, so it's also got the drain on there as well so I'm gonna do the reverse of what I've done and put this in okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the fuel filter and place it in there's a one notch here uh, that will fit into this notch here so you can't really place it any other way so I just need to make room Put everything in. There's a bit of a tight squeeze. Okay. Now, because of that lip, you push it in, and it will go in. One thing that I need to mention is that this fuel pump does not have a priming pump built into it, like the Mazda 6 does. Uh, you can see that on my Mazda 6 service. So what we need to do is we need to put the fuel line that goes in and then uh, get a, uh, a pump or a manual va vacuum pump to suck the fuel out. Okay so this is my manual vacuum pump that you can buy from Screwfix for £10 if you've got another means of doing so then you can use that. The only thing is that this line is slightly small so what I've done is I've put a small cut in that allows me to place it on the uh, outlet line. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place the inlet line on. Just push it on. That's nice and tight. I'm going to move this out of the way and put on the manual pump. Like so. And the other end of the pump, just make sure you have a container in which you can collect any fuel that comes out. So I'm going to start uh, using this pump and just sucking away. So you can hopefully just see that um, the, the fuel is coming through just there. Uh, so once that's done we can uh, disconnect the suction side of this uh, pump, reconnect the, the hose pipe, put everything back and then start the engine. If you don't uh, prime it uh, prior to starting the engine then the engine's going to turn over for some time before the fuel filter gets filled with fuel before it goes into the engine. Uh, that could be slightly damaging because uh, the fuel pump uh, will be running dry uh, until it fills up with fuel so it's best to prime it if you can it, this costs about 10 quid from fuel uh, screw fix sorry uh, so just go ahead and do it so I'm just gonna disconnect this suction and reconnect Piping, there we go. So now I'm just going to remove these, they're not required. Okay, so now I've removed the uh, the pieces of paper, I'm just going to go back and put everything in the reverse order. So the first thing to go is this metal bracket which keeps the fuel filter into place, but remember to put the hoses back. Okay, I'm going to 
put the bolts back and then put the hoses back. Once that's in, I'm going to just move the hoses back in position. Okay. And now we need to put this metal structure back, but before we do this, we need to ensure that this electrical wire goes all the way through and we feed everything the way it was. So I'm just gonna connect the electrical connection back up. Just gonna slide it on and then click it into place. And I'm gonna put the three bolts in back and then replace this connection. Okay, once you've got the metal plate back in place, just reconnect this line. Once you've done that, put the uh, engine cover back on reconnect the battery and uh, try starting the engine.